Now we found in November 2014, the main activities are cycling. <laughs> uh, but it just basically it's getting out and getting active and getting fit and getting in groups. Uh, during the year we have lots of, we do try and do as much local events, other charity events as we can around. And then we've had, we've had, we've organised with the band Slow Fit Towns to couch to 50. And then yeah, did it, did this year we, got, we had uh, our first introduction to a bit of road racing which, uh, which involved uh, some time trials, both hill and flat. We also have a new, we got involved in youths. We have a main group which goes on a Tuesday which, which involves eight, eight kids aged between the eight, ages of eight and eleven. And we also have a healthy uh, fem female uh, uh, members. We have a late, late, do, do lady cycles. We also do some uh, mountain biking down in Ballyhora, down near Limerick, and also over in Patrimonial Forest Park. Yeah, so we have a good variety of activities like for our members. Uh, like they, at the moment, uh, there's 30,000 members in, in Cycling Ireland here in Ireland, and the average age is 47. Uh, one of the reasons why is that cycling is a non-impact sport and a lot of people actually take it up in the latter years, say after the GA career or rugby, when they're little lakey giants and so forth. Uh, cycling is, is uh, very good for your giants, it's very good for your general fitness. It uses uh, the predominantly the larger mus muscles in the body which are the big uh, energy burners. So like uh, it's a great light for getting fit, uh, losing weight. Uh, and also it's a, it creates a very good se sense of adventure. Uh, when you have a bicycle, like we, you, with a reasonable level of fitness, you can travel like anywhere up to two or three hours, uh, which is like you know, 50 to 100K. Uh, we had a very good AGM there last year and we, at, the, at the AGM we, we, our uh, Club Ethos was uh, one of a social and inclusive club. Uh, so on, 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 our, on our board at the time we put, the, we put up some very good su uh, suggestions which came from club members of activities that we do, we, we do this year. Uh, at the moment in Cycling Ireland the, the ratio for male and female members is 80% male and 20% female so the sport in itself is male dominant. But in Banlas Cycling Club, we're actually on the better side of that. We have 25% female and 75% uh, and, and, uh, male. One of the reasons is that we, we accommodate all, all members. We accommodate all, all members of the public, including kids, uh, people uh, with, with a disability, um, and, and the ladies. We have Ladies' Day, we have uh, youth cycles. Uh, we had a good programme run during the week on our sport team with, with the Brothers of Service. Uh, sorry, but as a charity, uh, their service users were supposed to have a sport team until this morning, but the weather held it off. But we hope to have it next year. Uh, so we, we kind of we were fairly uh, adventurous, we were fairly uh, inclusive, and uh, we hope to progress it on into next year. Just online, you can join up with Cycling Ireland and just search for in Connacht, search for Banlas Law Cycling Club and just join up that way or else just come in and talk to Barry here in the shop or any, any of the members will help you guide you through. For the event it's Tour de Shams, so it's been, this is the third year running. So we started the first year, it was for Bandeslow, for East Galway Cancer Care in Midlands. Uh, so basically that year we had 120 cyclists and we thought that was a great success, but then last year we did it for uh, St. Teresa's Special School and up we had 160 cyclists. So this year we we're hoping for a little bit more, where we have it for Banas Low Social Services. So we, the route, we've stayed with the same route the last three years because it's been it's a good route. Um, route, there's a 50K and there's a 100K option. So the 50K will bring you from Banas Low. The starting point is the Banas Low Enterprise Centre. So it'll bring you from Banas Low down to Dysert and across to Ballyforn, the food stop in Ballyforn. Lots of food provided and lots of cakes and everything provided by all the Banislow community. Then coming back from Ballyforn to Haskra and back to, into Banislow and back to the Enterprise Centre. And the 100 kilometre route will bring you from the Enterprise Centre all the way into Atlone, into Roscommon and back up into Atleague where we'll be having a food stop there. And lots more food. More food and cycling, some will say. Then we have uh, from Atleague then back to Banislow and that'll be the, that's the route again for this year. For an event like this it's very hard, it's very important to get volunteers and as, it's, as we always have it local community based, it's very, we are looking for some community based uh, volunteers. So we need basically road marshals, people to help out pouring tea, just general people on the morning to help sign in and if, if anyone could help 
please contact us at the club on Facebook or myself at 087 226 375